Here's some news you might have missed on the Bible Forum this week. Critics often point to the Bible in order to support the idea that God, that God called upon Israel to do some of the very same things that we see the Muslims doing in the name of Allah. The question is, is that true? Well, you've heard it. The Old Testament clearly portrays God t telling the Israelites to kill every man, woman, and child in the city, even the li livestock. One entire family of Jews was executed by God for not obeying this instruction. In the story in the Old Testament, the ground actually opened and swallowed them whole and then closed over them and all their possessions, livestock, the whole mess. Well, what's the difference? Is there a difference? Well, the difference is the God of the Bible is portrayed as preserving a nation called Israel in the midst of her enemies, while Islam is expanding her hold over the globe through brutality and terror. Israel was being preserved until the Messiah would come, and the Messiah would come through that people group. Israel was being preserved as a testimony to God's grace. Israel was being attacked. Israel was being threatened by her neighbors. There is no record of Israel attacking Egypt or Syria or Persia. There's no record of Israel seeking to expand her territory beyond what God originally proscribed. Islam? They want the world. And their tactic of choice is fear and terror and brutality. And they attack soft targets, women, children, unsuspecting civilians, people out having fun, riding on buses, trains, planes. Because? Well, certainly not because these people have attacked them first. 